Kim Hampton is chair of the French department and a professor of comparative literature who has been the recipient of the campus's Distinguished Teaching Award. His own teaching and scholarship often takes him to poetry. Now, while uh, help wanted notices are rare in introductions, and Tim did not put me up to this, I will say that a very important collection to the French department needs some tender, loving care. And if there is any pro bono cataloger out there, see Tim after he reads. <laughs> Tim. Thank you. Uh, so the story behind that is that the, we have a small departmental library that was uh, robbed last spring. And uh, they stole the computer that had uh, the catalog on it, and the catalog had not been backed up. So we have to go from there. Okay. So I'd like to read a uh, poem by Bertolt Brecht, the 20th century German uh, poet and dramatist. This is a poem that I've had in my head since I was in college. And I particularly like this poem because I have a clear memory of the day I purchased the book in which I found this poem. Uh, my phone bill was overdue. Uh, I owed AT&T, which used to be called IT&T in those days, uh, some money. And uh, I didn't have enough money in my checking account to buy the book in which this poem was, and to pay my phone bill. And I have a, a, a clear memory of standing on the sidewalk outside the front window of the Living Batch bookstore on Central Avenue in Albuquerque, where I was living, and thinking that you have to choose in life between poetry and the phone company. <laughs> so this poem is from 1932, and I'm reading Michael Hamburger's translation, and the poem is called Of All Works. Of all works, I prefer those used and worn. Copper vessels with dents and with flattened rims, knives and forks whose wooden handles many hands have grooved. Such shapes seemed the noblest to me. So too the flagstones around old houses, trodden by many feet and ground down with clumps of grass in the cracks, these too are happy works. Absorbed into the use of the many, frequently changed, they improve their appearance, growing enjoyable because often enjoyed. Even the remnants of broken sculptures with lopped off hands I love, they also lived with me. If they were dropped, at least they must have been carried. If men knocked them over, they cannot have stood too high up. Buildings half dilapidated revert to the look of buildings not yet completed, generously designed. Their fine proportions can already be guessed, yet they still make demands on our understanding. At the same time, they have served already, indeed, have been left behind. All this makes me glad.